Hey guys, it's Mill. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Okay, I've got a big day today. I really need to get my store going. I need to get some listing. I need to get some photographs done. The problem is my sales are starting to die. Like <laughs> today I've only got 14 orders to post, which is not very, there's not very much. Actually, yesterday's sales day wasn't too bad. The day before that was next to nothing. It was very, very poor. I can't afford to have days that are as low as that, that they were. So I really need to start getting the store going. I've only listed a couple of times since I've been in this warehouse. It's not enough. I need to get back to the consistency of listing daily. I'm, I'm struggling a little bit about finding my workflow because there's still stuff that I'm moving around. I'm just trying to get used to driving out here every day because I don't know if I've said it in any of my other videos, but this warehouse is an hour away from my house. So I do have to commute out here now. I do have an extra couple of hours a day that I lose just in travel time. So I, I like, I'm just trying to find my new workflow. I'm not going to come out to this shed every, warehouse every single day because of the commute. So I'll probably be here three times a week and two times a week I'll be working from home. But at the moment, I kind of can't get into that flow yet because there's too much to do out here. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to pack my measly little 14 orders up <laughs> and then I'm going to get, I think I'm going to get some photos done and then I'm going to sit down and list for a while. I just want to really start clearing some of these boxes to move this pallet so I can get all this stuff sorted and I can start putting up more shelves. I need to clear it all and then I need to list. I need to list. So yeah, orders, listing. Hey Mel, you need to get all your books out of our warehouse. <laughs> no way, not now. No, tonight they got to go. We need the room. You gave me a week the other day. That was a week ago, all right? They have to go today. You can come and process them over there, or we can chuck them in a cage for you and dump them over here. I don't really care, but they got to go. I've got other stuff today. <laughs> I don't want to do them today. All right, well, you need a mirror in here so I can look at your T-shirt and just think good vibes. Good vibes is you taking your books out of our warehouse because we need the space, you understand? You got a card or something for me? Yeah, just come and post this over there. Make it easy on yourself. All right, can you sort it? How long is it going to take you to do what you're doing? Not long. Not How long? Not like five, two minutes. All right, in two minutes, you can get over there. You're so demanding, like you don't give me any notice, you just want things done when and where when it suits your timeline, not when it suits my timeline. To be fair, I've given you a week's notice, <laughs> not gave, once, You said but I twice. had until before I went to Queensland, which is two weeks. Now you've gone back on your word and you're telling me I have to be out today, like right this second. I gave you, you, I gave you a week's notice you said I could twice. Do it You've had two weeks worth of notice. Now, today's the day, all right? Get your shit together. <laughs> you're, going, get them out. you're changing your mind. You said... I don't care. We need, we need the space. Get them out. You bet, if I put those things out, you better fill that space immediately. We've already got that, that space filled. All the stuff's in front of the shelf that we need to put on there. Oh, you said right? I had to... I went to Queensland. That's two weeks. Two weeks you were giving me. And now you're telling me I have to get it out today. Stop drinking your milkshakes. <laughs> it's a big shake, right? Where's my big shake? <laughs> you don't deserve one. You haven't done enough work. <sighs> okay, change of plans. Thanks to typical mail. <laughs> no, honestly, I have to go over to Tom's warehouse. About a week before I moved into this warehouse, I bought out a antique store that was closing down. Now, I bought all their books and there was a lot of books. The problem was um, I, didn't I didn't want to take them all back and then just have to move them out here. So what I did is I bought the books, I bought them over here into Tom's warehouse and he's been storing them for me. But he wants to use the space. And even though he told me I had a couple of weeks to get them out, <laughs> he's decided today, like once he makes his mind up about something, that's it. He can't change it. He's stubborn. Anyway, he's decided today that he wants me to come and get all these books out from his warehouse. So to keep the guy happy, I'm going to go over there and start sorting through those books because in all honesty, they are taking up a lot of space. <laughs> 
in his warehouse that he's been doing a lot of changes to at the moment and he's switching stuff around and like he does need that space <laughs> so I, I i've got room here on the floor i need to bring it over so okay i have to make room for his pellets fast every time you do something. I'm going to put this light on. I don't know if it comes with having like a massive store and it's just go, go, go. Like, <laughs> like sometimes I think I hustle. Oh my goodness, this guy does not stop. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Go, Mel, go, Mel. <laughs> Gotta do it now, Mel. Hurry up, Mel. It's on me all the time. kind of good I need to be pushed a little bit sometimes <laughs> I get a little bit oh I can open this room Okay, I've got to move. I've got to move my car. Okay, so these books that I bought from the antique store that was closing down, well, I wouldn't say these books are antique. They're just regular books. The guy had like a mixture of antiques and just, I don't know, like secondhand stuff in his shop. So these books, but there's a lot of them that I think are probably rubbish. There's some that's going to need to be totally discarded and put into the bin. There's some that are going to be able to be redonated, um, perhaps to one of the local Rotary book fairs that is coming up in this area or, you know, to some of the thrift stores. And then there's some of them that I'm going to keep. I don't know, this whole thing is just thrown a spanner in my day today. <laughs> I was like going to ship my orders and then I was going to get my listing done, my photos done. And then Tom's come at me like a bull in the gate. <laughs> Is that the phrase, a bull in the gate? A bull out of the gate. <laughs> He's come at me like a bull out of the gate. And oh my goodness, just threw a spatter in my works today. Anyway, so now it's after lunchtime. <laughs> I don't even know what I've done. <laughs> Seriously, it's the story of my life. Come on, Mel. Anyway, I'm... I'm I'm done with this haul today. I'm not going to sort it. I haven't got any listings up today. So that is my priority. I'm not leaving this shed until I have a minimum of 30 listings up today. That's it. 30 listings. I've already got about 50 photos ready to go. So I should be able to knock off 30 in an hour. What a day. What a schmozzle. <laughs> it's turned into a schmozzle of a day. What do you, is that a word? Schmozzle. I just got the nicest message from one of my, um, well, she's not even a buyer. She was somebody who was inquiring about a set of these really little vintage 
cookbooks where they're kind of like magazines from the old Australian Women's Weekly and they're vintage. I remember my mum having them when I was a kid. So she sent me a message and I had a little bundle of them, but she, she was looking for some specific um, ones because it was part of a series back in, back in the day. I think you probably got them free with the Australian Women's Weekly magazine or something. They were probably like a freebie bonus or something and you collected the whole lot. Anyway, she sent me a message asking if I had like other ones in the series because she already had the ones that I had listed. And so I said to her that I didn't think I had any more of them, but if I came across them, I would let her know. And then I put a little memo in there that I said, I remember my mum having those magazines when I was a kid and my mum used to cook um, these things called matchsticks that were in that recipe book. And they were like little puff pastry um, rectangles and you would puff them up in the oven and then you would add fresh cream and jam and you'd put the, the another piece of puff pastry on top and you'd sprinkle some icing sugar on them and they were called matchsticks and they were my absolute favorite because I absolutely love anything with fresh cream and jam like a sponge cake or these matchsticks mm -mm -mm, absolutely delicious so i put this little memo in there <laughs> just saying that i remember my mum cooking them and she's just sent me back the most nicest loveliest message it says good morning melissa thank you for letting me know your fond memories are beautiful matchsticks were quite a delicious treat those delicate flaky layers of puff pastry and the filling of fresh cream and jam lightly finished with the dusting of icing sugar your mum sounds like the most wonderful cook <laughs> which is so funny because my mum is not a wonderful cook <laughs> There are many favorites in these books and I still cook them for my family. It was these books that I discovered how to make a filled meatloaf and how to roll a meatloaf with filling like a Swiss cake roll. I used to make them for my dad. His favorite date slice was also from these cookbooks. Sadly, he passed away on the 8th of December last year. I used to make the orange poppy seed cake for a friend, but I think that recipe is in one of the books I'm missing from my collection. I gave away my full collection to someone who was learning to cook some time ago. I'm very grateful to have found on eBay almost all of these books again. Happy Sunday. I wish you a beautiful day filled with love and happiness. Kind regards, Deb. <laughs> messages like this i this is what keeps me in this job i swear <laughs> i just it's so nice to get a message like that so you know i've obviously sent her back another message and um yeah anyway i'm really hoping that i find some more of these cookbooks and i can message this lady and say hallelujah i might have your missing book <laughs> anyway um yeah it was a bit of a trip down memory memory lane for myself and i'm sure it was a little bit of a trip down memory lane for her telling me all about those fond memories she has of a simple little cookbook isn't it amazing like food is something that brings people together so like i guess cookbooks can do the same kind of thing because they bring up so many memories of recipes and food that you've cooked for loved ones and stuff love it love that i love when that happens i'm going to share this really nice feedback as well because one of the first orders when I moved in here and I had to unpack everything and there was a couple of orders that I just had like trouble with and there was one book that I just could not find and it was like this um, Weight Watchers cookbook, like a program cookbook. Anyway, like I had so many other Weight Watchers cookbooks, <laughs> but of course the one that this lady ordered, I could not find. Anyway, I sent her a really nice message and I said, look, I've just moved warehouse. I can't see your your book anywhere but what I've done is I've sent you another weight which is cookbook that looks to be similar I'll give it to you for free for the inconvenience I'm really really sorry oh and um, I'll refund you on the book that you actually ordered but if I come across that book I'm going to let you know and I'm going to send that book back out to you you know for my mistake you know I, I'm really apologetic here anyway guess what I've just opened one of the unlisted inventory boxes over there and guess what I found that book <laughs> so I reckon it accidentally um, just got put into with the unlisted I don't know how but I presume that's what happened unless I just had another book the same waiting to list but she's left me a really nice feedback that just says if something goes wrong this business will definitely look after you highly recommend and will buy from them again thank you so I turned this negative situation into a positive because I was honest with her I still provided her with something that was similar and free 
um, you know, for my muck up, <laughs> I was really paranoid when I've come in here because for those first couple of weeks, there was quite a few orders that I couldn't find. And I was paranoid I was going to get this string of like negatives or items not received or something cases. So um, I was doing everything in my power to make sure because there was there would be nothing worse than, you know, not just one problem, but having a whole string of problems that would just kill my account. So, you know, yes, I had to give this lady a free book. Yes, that cost me money in postage. Was it that lady's fault? No, it was my fault. I moved. There's going to be errors. So anyway, I'm just, it's really nice. Like, even though like, that's, you know, not like, oh, fantastic seller. It's nice that she's left a comment that says, you know, if something goes wrong, this business will help you. And people want to know that. People want to know that if there's an error, you're not just going to ignore them or brush them off or be rude to them back or anything like that. They want to know that the seller's going to help them. So, yeah, I'm happy for that feedback to be on my page. I'm not going to lie. I love <laughs> all the different camera angles that I can do for you guys in my videos now. But look at this view behind me. <laughs> It's like a big shop. I don't know. I just, I just, oh, it's blowing me away. It's just, yeah, it's blowing me away. <laughs> this is all mine. This is all mine. You're not going to believe it. I just listed a book for $399. <laughs> I don't even know where I bought it. <laughs> I do remember buying it, but I, I can't remember where. Like, I can't remember if I got it in the at the last book fair if i got it at one of the charity shops like like i can remember the book but i can't remember i just can't remember where i got it <laughs> anyway it is actually like another cookbook speaking of cookbooks but it's on um ukrainian like traditional ukrainian cookery and um it was making me smile because as i was listing it i was thinking of my ukrainian friend philly flipper <laughs> i was thinking because he's always on instagram sharing his food pictures and when he goes to his big family um events they have all this like so much food and he's and he sent me some like pictures because he knows i like food pictures <laughs> i'm always commenting on his food pictures he sent me like this picture of this like special ukrainian dish once that was his absolute favorite that sounded purely disgusting to me but <laughs> anyway like i was just looking at this book thinking oh traditional ukrainian food should send a photo of this to philly flipper paul <laughs> and then i'm like comping it and they're all selling for like 350 or dollars and i'm i'm thinking what what is this book and there was even some listed for like a thousand bucks <laughs> anyway i've listed mine for 399 dollars got no clue mine's the only one in australia Fingers crossed the Ukrainian food comes through with the goods. <laughs> and then I and then I might not dislike Philly Flippers cooking very much anymore. <laughs> I might be like, bring me all the Ukrainian food. Bring it to me. <laughs> I was just thinking, geez, I'm thirsty. I'll get some water. <laughs> and then I was looking, this is the water bottle I bought into work today. <laughs> It's four o'clock in the afternoon. I, I haven't even opened it. And this is the one that I bought the other day. And it's squished like this probably because I would say Tom actually drank that, not me. <laughs> so yeah, guys, look at this. What is this? Like one and a half liters of water and I haven't even taken a sip. I haven't even had a single bit of water all day. It can't be just me who's really bad at drinking water. <laughs> You know what will happen now? I'll like be conscious that I haven't drunk any water. So I'll drink a whole heap of water. And then pretty soon I'm going to be leaving to go home. And the hour to travel home. <laughs> I'm just going to I'm going to need to go to the toilet <laughs> the whole time. And there's no stops. <laughs> there's nowhere to stop on the way home from this location to my home location. There's no toilets on the way. <laughs> Unless I go squirt in a bush or something on the side of the road. <laughs> Gee whiz, I'm really sharing there, aren't I? <laughs> oh, what a day. <laughs> okay, I said I was going to do 30 listings. Well, I actually did 50. <laughs> I feel bad when I do anything less than 50 now because 50 is actually my daily goal and 30 is kind of like subpar. <laughs> if I'm out here, I really got to make the effort, especially because my sales are so down. I had 50 photos ready to go. 
smashed them out. 50 listings are up. I hope it gives the store a boost because my sales are low, like low, low, low. Today, it's very quiet again. So fingers crossed, you know, a couple of heavy days again of listing, we start to see those sales go up. <laughs> fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Okay, that was a bit of a whirlwind of a day, but anyway, <laughs> I'm glad I took you along for the ride because this is what it's like in my life at the moment. And I really just want to share some of what it's like here in the in the new warehouse every single day because, you know, this is what I do. And <laughs> a lot of people want to know what I actually do in a day. And sometimes I do a lot and some days stuff happens and it feels like I get very little done in the day, but I'm very happy if I've got my shipping out, I've got my 50 listings out, and if I can potter around and get a whole lot of other stuff done, I guess it's a productive day. I do feel like I could have done more, but it is what it is. It is now nearly 5.30 p.m. and I'm going to head home to start cooking some dinner. Thanks, guys, for watching. I will see you back here at the warehouse in another couple of days for another day in the life here with Mel. <laughs> Bye.